G'day. Welcome to another mid-week episode. This one is going to be all about this gear sitting right here, our 300 amp hour lithium off-grid system. Uh, we're going to swap it with our AGM setup. So this episode is going to be about all about why we did it. We're going to go through that a bit later on in the episode, but now we're going to get into the install. So in this caravan, the batteries live under one of the bunk beds in the van. So what I've done, I've taken all the mattress and everything off, lifted the hatch for the, where the batteries are. I'm going to label everything so I know where it goes back to, because this system, this vet caravan, pretty well comes off grid when you get it, but we're just taking it the next step. So it's pretty well just a swap for swap system. So everything should go back in the same spot. So I'm going to mark it, take these batteries out, and uh, slip the new ones in. Uh, so heavy. Another reason why we're putting these batteries in is to save a bit of weight. So I'm going to weigh them now and tell you exactly how much weight we save. So there you go, one battery, 30 kilos. So we had 90 kilos of, of AGM battery. I'm going to weigh the lithium ones now and see how much they weigh. Thirteen kilos. So that saves us around like 50, 60 kilos. So if you if you're tight on your your weights in your caravan, lithium might be an answer for you. So we pop the the new lithium battery in, and instead of um, boring you with how I'm going to wire these up, I'm just going to throw a little diagram of how to properly. So yeah, do it. I'm just going to hook these up. And then I'm going to get on the battery chargers, the brains of the operation. So once we've wired the batteries up, move over to this. This is where all our electronics hide. So I'm going to get rid of these cushions and open it up and start labelling and disconnecting the old gear. Ready for the new stuff to go in. So once you've, once I've taken everything out of there and got the new charger, this is the AC charger. It's a 40 amp, 12 volt charger. This charger is really cool because you can have three battery banks on it. Um, but yeah, if you're running lithium, you can't do that anyway, which we are, so we can only run one power bank. On the bottom, it's got a little cowling here that you can, you take off and it exposes these screws, positive negative screws and then obviously you power in. So I'm going to go ahead, put all the wires onto this, and then put it in. It's as simple as that. Ready to put in. I'm just going to hook all the wires up to where the old charger was that I've marked here before and then we should be sweet. Put the earth on, the negative, and we'll be, uh, that should be right to go. So the DC charger is the same process as the AC charger, it's just there's a few more inputs, you have a car input which comes from your alternator and a, a solar input which is obviously where your solar panels come into and then it has uh, a power out which is what goes to your batteries. It's a pretty easy swap over as the caravan was already built for these chargers so after I've attached all those wires I'm just going to put it in, where, in place where I want it and then reattach the wires that I've labelled beforehand 
And yeah, it's just as simple as that. Just a simple swap over. So, why did we do it? Why did we go from an AGM setup in the van that was perfectly fine to a lithium setup? Uh, well, I'm gonna give you probably two or three reasons. The first reason is, one, they charge a hell of a lot faster. They, not like the AGMs that charge to, bulk charge to 80% and then they back off for that last 20% until float. Lithiums, they'll punch all the ants into it right up to that float stage. Number two, the same amp hour battery, so we swapped 300 AGM for 300 amp hours of lithium. We've doubled our battery capacity, so we can stay at a spot without power for an extra, for double the time. That's another one. And three, when we typically camp, we're not going very far between camp spots. It's only one or two hours max, so we wanted to pump as many amps as we could in that couple of hours of travel and solar. Um, yeah, and lithium allowed that to do us. Um, we went with iTech batteries and Enerdrive chargers. iTech batteries actually say you can use any charger. I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure that's how I've read it. It doesn't have to be a lithium compatible battery, but we've gone with the Enerdrive because we've got that set up in the car and it works and it's just awesome. So <clears throat> the reason why we didn't go Enerdrive batteries is they're just a touch too dear for us and value, value for money, iTech came out on top. And to be honest, they, uh, they're looking like they're not a bad battery at all. The cost, the cost of this system, um, obviously I did all the labor on it, so we're not paying for that, but the charges and the batteries around four grand. So I think they were 700 bucks a battery and the charges around four, 500 bucks each, maybe a bit more. And then the battery management um, from ITEC World, it was another two, 300 bucks and then all the little knickknacks that go with wire, all that sort of thing, etc., etc. So that is our little lithium install. If you like, um, like the videos, you know, subscribe to our channel. And um, next year we've got some pretty cool stuff happening. We're heading up north. Uh, we've got a lot planned. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.